making this video uh, to inform people about the old instruments. Um, I've got quite a few emails. Some of them, the instruments I sell. Some of them, I get I get questions from people that email me about instruments they purchase from other people. And it seems like the most common thing is they say that it don't stay in tune. Now you have to consider tune, right, in the time frame of these instruments. They didn't have they didn't have electronic tuners like we got now that has a little bars that tell you if the note's low or if it's high or if it's dead center, what they call perfect pitch green, right? They didn't have that. They tuned by ear. And then and it's one of those things where you play an instrument enough, you you can You can you can hear the note, right? Some, sometimes I can tell when mine's dropped too low when it's going from E to D or something like that. But these are medieval instruments, which means they inherited all the problems they had back then, right? And two of the main big problems was is that they were constantly tuning. They 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 plucking a string, eventually detuning it a little bit, and strumming detunes it even more. It puts more pressure on the, the instrument and pressure on the strings. Um, I use nylon strings on my because they're they're a more inexpensive alternative to uh, learning how to play and then you can eventually go to like a synthetic gut or something like that 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 will stay a little bit better in tune but again let's say you tune this you tune a lyre a lyre or lyre how you gonna pronounce it um, to E and you start playing that E's gonna drop if the strings are stretched in, it might even drop a quarter of a note, right? It's just, it's just what it's going to do. So if you're kind of person to where you're looking for an instrument, especially like I have a friend that plays a guitar and he can tune his guitar. He's got like a, a, a $2,000 um, wooden guitar and he can tune his and he can play 15, 20 minutes before he has to retune his guitar again. And that's just, that's just, Again, that's just nature of the beast. Now, modern instruments that have braces, right? Braces are little wooden frames that go across the instrument. And they figured out by the time the, the old medieval lyres, they didn't really have that. They had they had some, but the, when they started getting into the Renaissance period, where they started making lutes and, and uh, other type of instruments, uh, medieval guitars and stuff like that, the Renaissance guitars and all that, Borgs, they started figuring out how to brace stuff and how to keep it from shifting, which helped keep the strings and in, in, um, in you know, better tension and, and less less detuning and stuff like that. But you, you, I have a friend that has a, a, a two thousand dollars shamisen, which is a Japanese version of like a banjo. I've never seen those, and he told you know he told me that he's constantly retuning it because when you're playing it it's just it's just how those instruments are they just detune themselves and uh like you can jump on youtube and look up things you shouldn't things i wish i'd have known before i purchased a shamus and, and it, that's number one that you're always constantly tuning and like these other old instruments you can't really tune these instruments and then store them in a closet somewhere or on the side or something like that for days and days and days because it will damage on the shamus and, and other instruments like that it'll damage your neck because they didn't have truss rods which is metal rods that keep the neck from shifting and moving so that is something you want to keep in mind if you're purchasing one of these old instruments it's not that the instrument ain't no good it's just the way it is you you're always going to be retuning you're always going to be retuning it back up or tuning it down it, it's just the way it is because if you don't respect it you're going to damage your instrument my the, the the liars I build, I can build the authentic ones, uh, which is like the old time with the floating bridge and all that. I like using zither pins instead of wooden knobs because it just makes it so much easier to tune because you're going to be retuning. And then I can build the floating bridges, the tail pieces, but the tail pieces is even worse because when you go to tune, that tail piece is shifting right under pressure. So so at least with the fixed bridge, like the ones I make, when you when you tune that A string this bridge is not going to shift so it's not going to it's not going to detune the other strings so like i said the whole the whole point of this video is explaining to people you know when they concept of tuning right because like i said a e is a e 
it's either high, low, or dead on, and right, and medieval instruments, you can tune it dead on, but after, after, yeah, I mean, as soon as you start plucking these strings, it's going to detune, that's just the way it is. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about purchasing the old medieval, medieval instrument. I love them, man. It, the, the retuning just becomes second nature to you. I can usually get through a song or two before I have to retune. Sometimes if I'm strumming heavy, I have to retune at the end of the song. Sometimes it goes out of tune while I'm playing, but you know, back then, you know, when they played at like courts and stuff like that, half the people weren't musicians. They didn't know if it sounded, if it sounded pleasant to them, that, that's all that matters. So keep that in mind. If you're, th if, if you're thinking about purchasing uh, a lyre um, or any other type of medieval instrument, um, you're going to be retuning. That's just, that's just the way it is. If, if you're a perfectionist and you want an instrument that you can tune and do stay in tune and not tune again, the old instruments, that's not the way to go. So, hope that helps somebody. I haven't seen much people talking about that. I see a lot of people selling old instruments, but they don't talk about the tuning problems. And that's just the way it is. When you, uh, when you buy, uh, if you buy a $200 lyre, a lyre, or if you buy a $500 lyre, it's still gonna be the same issue with it because they're just, just, that's just the way it is with them. Hope that helps.